Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters, and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We begin our celebration. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We have been reassured about you, brothers and sisters, in our every distress and affliction through your fate. For we now live if you stand firm in the Lord. What thanksgiving then can we render to God for you? for all the joy we feel on your account before our God. Night and day, we pray beyond measure to see you in person and to remedy the deficiencies of your fate. Now may God himself, our Father, and our Lord Jesus direct our way to you, and may the Lord make you increase and abound in love for one another and for all. Just as we have for you, so as to strengthen your hearts, to be blameless in holiness before our God and Father at the coming of our Lord Jesus with all his holy ones. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. You turn man back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long, have pity on your servants. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. And may the gracious care of the Lord our God be ours. Prosper the work of our hands for us. Prosper the work of our hands. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Please stand. Stay awake, for you do not know when the Son of Man will come. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Stay awake, for you do not know on which day our Lord will come. Be sure of this. If the master of the house had known the hour of night when the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and not let his house be broken into. So too, you also must be prepared, for at an hour you do not expect, the Son of Man will come. Who then is the faithful and prudent steward and prudent servant who the master has put in charge of his household? to distribute to them their food at the proper time. Blessed is that servant whom his master on his arrival finds doing so. Amen, I say to you, he will put him in charge of all his property. But if the wicked servant says to himself, My master is long delayed and begins to beat his fellow servants and eat and drink with drunkards, the servant's master will come on an expected day and at an unknown hour, and will punish him severely, and assign him a place with the hypocrites, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. Our Gospel today is one of the eschatological discourse of our Lord Jesus Christ. And if we talk about eschatology, it means the topic is about the end, or the judgment day, or the rapture, or the apocalypse. And this question of the end has always been you know, in the minds of people from since time immemorial. And that is why this is something that our Lord Jesus Christ, while he was doing his preaching, took the opportunity to give enlightenment on how really to anticipate the eschatology, or the end, or the judgment day. So in our gospel today, as Jesus gives us this discourse of the end, it somehow invites all of us, invites us to an awareness and preparedness of the second coming of Christ. It invites us to be aware and it invites us to be prepared. Ito sa tingin ko ang panawagan ng ating Ibanghelyo sa araw na ito. What is it to be aware? You know, every Sunday whenever we recite the creed, binabanggit lagi natin ito eh. Yung kanyang muling pagbabalik. That He will rise again from the dead. And He will give judgment. And that is something that we believe in too. We believe in the resurrection of the dead and life everlasting. Di ba ito yung binabanggit natin sa credo? And awareness of this means it is not just something that comes out of our mouth. Nor is it just something that has been part of my culture. Eh, ganito ako pinalaki, yun yung binabanggit lagi ng aking mga magulang na tinuro niya sa akin, tinuro din sa akin ng mga teachers at mga pari at madre, ah, kaya binabanggit ko na lang din yun. Awareness of the end means that the second coming for us is something that is real. Para sa atin, it exists. And someday, it will come. Na hindi na lamang ito, basta nabanggit lang ng bibig ko, yun na yun eh. That for us, the second coming is still a standing invitation for all of us to the kingdom of God. Na hindi nawawala yun. Na kahit sobrang tagal na, sobrang tagal dumating, para sa atin, it will come. When? We do not know. How? We also do not know. But for us, we believe 
that it will come. That is awareness of the end. Kaya hindi tayo masyadong involved sa trivial questions. Paano kaya yung mangyayari nun? Ano? Ito bang nangyayari ngayon? Yung pandemia? Yung gera? Kung ano-anong nangyayari sa mundong ito? Ito na ba yung mga sinyales ng katapusan? Eh kasi parang napaka mind-boggling or mind-triggering na mag yung mga nangyayari ngayon na parang iniisip natin, ito na ba? But for those of us who is aware of the second coming, that is not our concern. For us, it will come. When and how, we do not know. But we believe that it will come. And it is an invitation, a standing invitation of God for us to be in His bosom one day. Yan yung para sa atin. Kaya nga, when we are aware of that, of that reality, para sa atin, totoo yun, it is something that we live on to. And that is why we prepare for it. Ibig sabihin, yung, yung, yung katapusan, hindi lamang sa bibig, nakikita mismo sa buhay natin. Kaya nga, we live on it. It somehow is a very big factor on how we move on this earth on how we live our lives. Thus, the end is also an invitation for us to be prepared. How do we prepare? How do we prepare? Meron kang makikita sa, sa mga television yung paano sila mag-prepare, no? mga, mga doomsday preppers ang tawag sa kanila na inaabangan yung katapusan ng mundo. Paano sila nag-prepare? They acquire many things. They acquire many things. Nag-iimbak ng maraming pagkain, nag-iimbak ng maraming tubig, whatever it is that they need, na kapag ka dumating na yung katapusan ng mundo, eh, ready sila. They acquire. Nagsisecure sila ng mga bagay-bagay. But the preparedness that is called for us, and that, which is an, in, that, that is an invitation for us, is not something like that. For Jesus, for us to be prepared of that second coming, it is not about amassing of all the things in this world. Hindi ito tungkol sa paghahakot ng mga bagay-bagay na kailangan mo. Pagkain, tubig, whatever that is. Rather, preparedness of that second coming is more about giving. Isang word ang naalala ko dyan, stewardship. Stewardship. All of us are entrusted by our God to take care not only of our environment, of our world, but eventually to take care of one another and that is stewardship and that my dear brothers and sisters is being prepared for the eschatos for the end kaya nga ang pag ang paghahanda hindi paghahakot pagbibigay because whenever you care for others you are giving Ano yung mga sinyales na we are living the life of a steward? Una, we are stewards if we give to people what is due to them. Actually, ito yung isa sa nabanggit sa talinghaga na binahagi ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo sa Ebanghelyo sa araw na ito, no? That good servant, that faithful servant, that when he was entrusted of the responsibility of taking care of the household, ginawa niya. Pinakain niya yung membro ng household, inalagaan niya ng mabuti, hindi niya pinabayaan, giving to them what is their due. That is being a steward. 
Kaya ibig sabihin nito, kung hindi natin ibinibigay sa ating kapwa o sa tao yung kanya, yung dapat sa kanya, hindi tayo prepared sa pagdating ng ating Panginoong Yeso Kristo. E masakit nga sa ating tenga yung mga bagay na ganyan, hindi ba? Kaya masakit sa ating tenga, sa ating mga puso, pag naririnig natin ang ating mga health workers, hindi nabibigay sa kanila yung dapat ibigay sa kanila. Yung hazard pay, yan sakit pakinggan. Nakaawa ka sa kanila. But it should be given to them because that is their due. Kaya naiinis at nagagalit tayo kapag ka nakakarinig tayo ng korupsyon. Because that resource should have been appropriately distributed to the communities. Pero saan napupunta? Sa isang bulsa lang. Inis na inis tayo doon. And that is a sign of not being a steward and not being prepared. Sa ating mga sarili, pwede din naman mangyari yun, hindi lang yan sa bayan. Halimbawa, kung ikaw ay isang ina, ikaw ay isang tatay, you are called to give what is due for your children. Be a mother and a father to them. Kaya kapag hindi mo sila nabibigyan ng panahon, mapangaralan, mapadama sa kanila yung pagmamahal mo, mapadama sa kanila yung pagmamahal ng isang nanay at tatay, that is not being a steward. And that is not being prepared. Diba? So it could happen to any one of us. And that is why that is a very big invitation for us to be prepared by giving what is due to our brothers and sisters. And that is being a steward. Pangalawa, avoiding wastage. Avoiding wastage. Palagi nating sinasabi, ang daming naghihirap sa mundong ito. Ang daming naghihirap sa mundong ito. But, magugula tayo kasi may mga researches na ginagawa na ang daming naghihirap pero bakit parang ang dami din nagsasayang? Bakit ganun? Ay merong uneven distribution of the goods of this earth. At anong nangyayari? Wastage. Tinatapon. Sa pagkain pa lamang, ganun ang nangyayari. Hunger is a very big issue in our world. Pero kung susubahin, kung titignan talaga yung data, we have enough. In fact, we have plenty sa mundong ito para mapakain ang lahat. Pero bakit hindi nagagawa? Eh sa iilan lang kasi napupunta. Tapos kung ano man sobra, Anong nangyayari doon? Nabubulok, tinatapon, wastage. And that is not being a good steward. And that is not being prepared. Kaya sa hapong ito, again, we are invited to be aware and to be prepared for the second coming of Christ. So the question for all of us today are these. Are we ready? Are we ready for that second coming? Are we living the life of a good steward? Please all stand. In the gospel, the Lord Jesus has called us to watch for the day of his return. Let us come to the Father in prayer, watching and waiting for His beloved Son. In every petition, let our answer be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may not be satisfied with what she has done, 
but continue to proclaim the gospel of repentance and realize the need for conversion and renewal. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our communities may be fitting places for the building of God's kingdom by our respect, love, and concern for one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may always be ready for the coming of God's kingdom by remaining watchful but never fearful. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the dying may seek God's will in their trials and sufferings. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may be found ready to meet the Lord, whom they long to see face to face. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now in the silence of our hearts, we offer our personal and our particular intentions. And we also pray for the intentions of this Mass. Heavenly Father, listen to the prayers we have made with sincere hearts. Help us to grow in holiness as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please all stand. Pray, my dear friends, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O Lord, who gave for yourself a people by adoption, through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Dominic and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace. Lamb, Lamb of, God, of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the, la the Lamb of God, the Son of Mary. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
please all stand. Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for a while for the announcement. Brothers and sisters, good afternoon. The Dominican Community of the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag is pleased to inform you that the October Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on October 3, 2021, first Sunday of October. The Novena Masses will be scheduled at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m. from September 24 to October 2, 2021. Additional Mass at 3 p.m. on September 26, Sunday. We invite you to participate in these Novena Masses and be one with us in expressing our devotion to Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. If you wish to sponsor one or several of the Novena Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation, and you will be given an acknowledgement receipt. Or you may visit our website, www.manawagminorbasilica.org at online pamisa where you will find available online and other options for donation. All names of donors and sponsors for Novena Masses will appear in the electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. God bless you. Please stand. Bago po tayo magtapos ng misa, ako po ay magpapasalamat sa ating lector commentator, sa ating acolyte and Eucharistic minister, at sa inyong lahat po na nakiisa sa misa ito. Maraming maraming salamat. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. We all go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and the blessing of our rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailties. Turn with kindness towards our brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that, in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oils, and other religious articles, our devotees and pilgrims, be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.